What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you my three best golem decks. We're also going to be using the three tower troops, so a tower troop for every deck. First up, we do have the cannoneer tower. Honestly, probably one of the worst tower troops, but I've been having a lot of really good interactions with it, where I feel like it kind of makes up for the loss of health, and the kind of it's kind of really bad against bait, as we're going up against, but if I play correctly... It can be really good against it, and I just uh, messed up pretty badly. Um, not not terribly. Honestly, that went a lot better. But I was hoping my wizard would have hit the stuff on the right before the left. But it's okay. It, it worked out, so it's fine. Alright, I think I'm just going to go golem here. I don't think this deck has a building. And it could be anything. Like, I see Recruit's bait with pretty much everything in the meta. I'm going to let that go. It will get some damage. And honestly, we're going to let that go too. If I use my arrows on that to defend it, I'm not going to have anything to help me out coming up here. I will go Skelly King too. Yeah, because he's going to go with the Recruits. I am going to zap that Mighty Miner. I will also Void it. To guarantee our golem does more damage. I will also arrow this firecracker. Alright, Skelly King dies. We trade towers. And I feel like this is probably the best situation for us right now. I will have to go Fisherman here. You are going to have a lot of awkward cycles. There's not much you can really do about it. Except for just kind of... You're going to have to take damage... But, you you do have, like, once Double Elixir hits, like, right now, you're going to be able to defend a lot better. I will go Skelly King here. And I'm going to get a Night Witch on this Firecracker up top. And then it should clean up the Recruits. Now we got our Evil Wizard ready. We got a Skelly King on the right. We got our Evil Zap here. Ready to go. I'm going to use a fisherman to block this void. Wizard's on the tower. Yo, wizard locked onto this. Let's go. Alright, we just need to arrow this firecracker. Let's get a night witch going. And we just need to put a golem in the pocket. That's all we need to do. Uh, I don't think he's going to allow us to. But if we just zap with our wizard, we're fine. I really don't see us losing this at all. I'm going to go Golem right now. I'm just going to go Fisherman. Oh, wait. This is Mighty Miner. Oh. Dude, that was so close. Alright, guys. We got the next Golem deck here with the Dagger Duchess Tower. Arguably one of the worst tower troops, but can be viable with certain decks. I got this deck from Sweep cr go follow him he's a top 100 player top 10 player really really good he offers coaching i need to get some coaching from him at some point but his prince and he basically told me what you want to do is go golem night witch and then split lane push with the prince and the, the reasoning why he had dagger is just because it's better in single elixir so we're going to you know see if all that holds up. We're going to split our skellies. We're going to go bomber too. Bomber's actually kind of clutching up right now. Um, but we're going to take a lot of damage here. That's that's a lot of damage. But the thing is, you can take a lot of damage early on with this deck. And then you can also give a lot of damage. There have been a lot of times I've been using this deck where I come back and, and win the game. Just because I'm patient, I I don't overspend. But this will be tough. I do have to go golem pretty low here. And we unfortunately, we have lightning in this deck. Okay, we got to arrow that. Yeah, this is just a really, really rough matchup. Okay, he, I don't know really why he did that. Um, I will have to go bomber behind here 
Um, we are going to take tons of damage. But we do have a ton of bats. Does he have anything for those bats? We're going to take the tower. Okay. Let's go Skelly Dragons here. Defend that. Maybe we could just defend our way to a W. Yo, that bomber's getting so much damage. That's huge. Skelly Drag gets a hit. Maybe another one? That's huge. Guys, I think we're going to end up winning this. We're going to go Golem in the middle. We'll track all of the goblins. That's beautiful. It's a beautiful sight to see. We're going to go arrows here. I'm going to go Evo Bats. We got our bomber there. I'm just going to get another Night Witch down. Yo, Night Witch is going to hit the tower. That's huge. I'm going to go Prince in the middle. We'll split the Skelly Drags again. We're going to have to arrow this right here. Skelly Drag coming clutch. Oh, he did. Okay, let's get the bomber. Oh my gosh, we clutched it out. Let's go. All right, the third and final deck with the Princess Tower. We have Golem, E-Barbs with Lumberjack, Phoenix, Void, Zap. This deck, I love it. Um, sometimes it's really bad against bait decks, but I feel like the Princess Tower and Firecracker, it's kind of trash against Firecracker. But Void, Void really does take care of Firecracker. Is that going to get a hit? Oh, it almost gets a hit. All right, I'm... I want to use my Phoenix here to activate the King Tower. Nice. Alright, that's huge. Especially against Hog Rider. But this deck does do pretty well against Hog Rider. Because of the E-Barbs. It's kind of hard to get them in cycle all the time. But also Lumberjack does a pretty good job. And since we got it activated. Um, shouldn't take any unnecessary hits. As long as we have a good response to it. Now, I do want to go Golem right now. I don't want to wait to go Golem in this matchup. Because sometimes with Hog Rider decks, they can kind of like put you in a cycle that you can't break out of. And if you do go Golem, they can really punish you and just kind of win the game. And we don't want that to happen. I'm going to void that Firecracker. It's, oh man, he's got the Inferno Tower. Which, honestly, isn't that bad. We do have Zap. So, we'll Zap right now. And our bats will help out. He does have log. And. Okay. This isn't looking too bad. He's got to do something. He goes firecracker. Nightwitch is going to be still alive. Gets a hit. Two hits. That's huge. Alright. He's definitely going to go hog at the bridge here with this firecracker. So we just go e-barbs. And. It does die. Okay. But. It's just going to be annoying. Because. Just watch how fast he's going to cycle. He's going to cycle so fast to another Hog Rider. And Void also does a really good job on defense against Hog Rider. So, keep that in mind. It also does extremely well against Cannoneer. I have noticed. Alright. We're going to have to Void this. Honestly, ter very terrible Tesla. I mean, Inferno and... Firecracker placement. We were able to get that with the Evo Zap. Look at that wombo combo we got there. Alright, I'm going to create some pressure here. I'm going to go Nightwish to defend. I'm going to just go Void on the tower. Nice. Lumberjack clean up those goblins. This is looking pretty good for us. Although we do have to be... Uh, we still got to be careful. His Evo Firecracker is going to be a problem. There it is. Alright, I will go Evo Bomber for it though. Nice. We do count. Even though my Evo Bomber is gone, I'd rather have that Firecracker out of here. Alright, let's get Lumberjack here. Yo, E Barb on the tower. E Barb got to hit. Let's go. Alright, let's just go Void. Let's just zap the Firecracker too. It'll get more damage. 300. I, that is definitely zap arrow void range right there. So, this is huge. Nice bomber. Let's go. Let's just go E-Barbs right now. Let's just go Lumberjack. Void the tower. Let's zap as well. Oh wait, we don't have arrows, guys. I just kind of messed up. 
Wait, guys. This is this could be really bad. Hold up, guys. Hold up. Ring ding 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 ding. No, we're good. We're fine. I completely forgot I don't have arrows in this deck, but we come out with the dub. Let's go, guys. What are we in the world right now? Let's check it out. 1,342. That's very nice. Well, that's going to be the end of the video. Let me know if you guys enjoy this new layout. I did... Um, some people don't like the fact that I put, like, the deck down here and you know, the screen over there. Try new things out. Let me know if you like it. Also, if you guys enjoy Elden Ring, I will be streaming that. I'm going to try and stream it on Twitch, YouTube, and TikTok. So um, if you guys enjoy that, I will be streaming that. Um, won't be streaming any more Clash Royale tonight because I streamed it earlier and it didn't really go too well. I was just kind of stagnant. I was stuck at 2200 medals forever. I'm happy with where I'm at. We have 18, 17 days left in the season. I'm almost top 1000. I need to get top 1000 this season and I will get it as long as I just don't, you know, push when I shouldn't. So I kind of want to keep playing, but I also know I shouldn't and should just be happy with where I'm at. So I'm just going to end it there. But yeah, please come check out the Elden Ring stream. I've never played any Dark Souls games before, so it's my first one. And it's honestly a lot of fun to play. I thought it'd be boring, but it's honestly really cool. So if you guys enjoy that, make sure to come check out the stream. And yeah, peace out, guys.